Okay, let's get started. So, um, in the last time we talked about the pivotal quantity. Um, so, the pivotal quantity is the one that the distribution of the uh, pivotal quantity does not depend on the parameter. And uh, the example of the pivotal quantity is a, um, a location family location uh, uh, and, uh, or scale family uh, or location and scale family. Um, in that's the case, uh, well, we can find uh, the distribution of pivotal quantity easily. And, um, and then sometimes it is very difficult to find pivotal quantity. In that's the case, we can uh, using uh, and we can use the uh, CDF of the statistic and then the CDF of statistic uh, is the uniform distribution and it does not depend on the particular parameter um, so um, by using that the CDF of the statistic we can find one minus alpha confidence interval and let me give an example. Uh, so, uh, when we have the IID with density e to the power minus x minus mu with indicator x is greater or equal to mu, um, we have already seen that uh, the minimal uh, statistic is a assumption statistic. So let's find the 100 uh, times 1 minus alpha percent constant interval for mu by pivoting the CDF of t. So first we need to find CDF of the t. This is um, 1 minus the probability that the minimal statistic is greater than t then this is one minus the probability that x is greater than t for all i can uh, calculate uh, this uh, probability by integrating um, from t to the infinity of the pdf of x and power n 
because the xi is greater than t t for all i. So we got to, we are we are multiplying this the this probability. Yeah, the p the p is x the x is greater than t. Then. So this is going to be 1 if t is less than mu. And then if t is greater than or equal to mu, um, In this case, the we are integrating uh, in t to the uh, plus infinity, so e to the minus x minus uh, mu dx, and then when you calculate t, it's expectation of, of minus t minus u. So basically, if t is greater than or equal to mu, this is the less than one, so it's got a probability. When t is less than uh, mu then again the probability cannot be greater than 1 so it, it, it is always to be 1 hence If you take a uh, subtraction from 1, so we compute the probability that x1 uh, is greater than t, and so we give this result, and then so to get the pdf, uh, sorry, to get the cdf, we subtract 1 uh, from, so sorry, we subtract this. Um, x1 power to x1 greater than t from 1 so the cdf is the 0 if t is less than mu and t is greater than equal to mu then cdf will be 1 minus e to the minus power my power minus n times t minus mu Then uh, we can compute uh, 
uh, uh, we can have a commutance interval. Uh, I mean, commutance, uh, uh, let me, okay, let me say this. We have a commutance set, the mu, which is the range of satisfying the r power 1 minus e to the power of minus n times t minus mu is between uh, alpha and 1 minus alpha 2 uh, where alpha 1 plus alpha 2 is equal to alpha then so we solve uh, these inequalities with respect to uh, uh, mu so that we can get the constant interval so to, to solve uh, left inside power minus n times t minus mu is less than with 1 minus alpha 1 and then by taking a log both sides and we get U is less than or equal to uh, t plus 1 over n times log of 1 minus alpha 1. And then to solve uh, uh, this part, so we solved this part. And now we solve the right hand side part. So it's going to be uh, e to the minus n times uh, t minus mu uh, is greater or equal to alpha 2. This is by recalculating uh, with respect to mu. We get t is greater or equal to t, uh, sorry, u is greater or equal to t plus 1 over n times log of alpha 2. So the constant interval is So we get the uh, Compton interval uh, for a view that is uh, t uh, plus 1 over n times log of uh, alpha 2. Uh, that's the lower bound, the upper bound is t plus 1 over n times log of t, uh, log of 1 minus alpha 1. So here, when we use this CDF to uh, 
create uh, uh, the constant interval. So CDF, I mean CDF, it depend, depends on the little t. So your competence interval depends on the little t. Um, so when you people think the CDF, your uh, <coughs> Uh, confidence interval depending on the point that um, uh, depending on the point uh, where you calculate the, the, the CDF. 